Burstner Elegance i920G. Is this the penthouse on wheels that it was described as? Let's find out. My name's Pete, welcome to We Buy The Motor Caravan and this absolute beaut of a five ton beast. She stands at just over three meters tall, 2.32 meters wide and just a smidge under nine meters long. She's a big girl, but my God, is she beautiful. Come complete with the champagne color and just the A-class beauty of this is unbelievable but you wait until you can get inside the garage is absolutely monstrous in size you have got a 230 volt plug the payload is monstrous as well at 1230 but this garage holds something a little bit different but I do need to take you around the other side welcome to the thetford indus toilet management system You've got a fancy toilet, which we'll show you inside, and this reuses the water that you're using. So the gray water that comes out of the sink, out of the shower, that all goes into a little tank somewhere in here. That then goes to your toilet to be reused. And these little bottles here, they sanitize it and they just do the correct dilution rates that's needed in order to make everything safe and clean. Once you've used your toilet, that then goes into a separate tank again, and it turns into black water, and the black water you then remove out via another ingenious method. You've even got an app for this, so you know when these are running low. How many times have you seen someone at a campsite proudly taking their poo for a walk all the way out? You're not going to do it on this. With that Indus system, this is how you dispense of your waste. That just locks onto the drainage. Ta-da! No more taking your poo for a walk. What a beautiful bum she's got. Reversing camera, and it is built on the Mercedes-Benz. And I think at this sort of price range, it is going to need to be a Mercedes-Benz. Oh Lord, why don't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? As you come back around the side, this is where your Indus toilet dispensing thingy comes from. You've also got your outdoor shower point, Aldi heating, a good locker there, and good two can, two can, two can play that game on the gas canisters under there. It is the European style, so you only have one door to get in on this side and you have the habitation door on the other side. Now let's go see if it's that penthouse on wheels. Isn't she beautiful inside? Even down to how the table looks. It, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a bit of damage when I first came in, but isn't she lovely? Absolutely stunning. Now, this particular version is a 71 plate. It's got an awful lot of extras on it. The champagne color is one of the extras. And let's talk you around some of the others. This is a monstrous spec on this motorhome. The first big upgrade on this one, there's around a 5,000 pound upgrade, is the Otaki pack. I'm not sure I've said that right. I'm not sure if it is the right pronunciation. Basically, it's a fancy word for saying We've got a lot of stuff in here. You take this up. The Otaki pack says that you've got a lithium battery here, which is all of the little cassettes there. You've got a second leisure battery. You've got a full inverter and two solar panels on the roof. I'm sure it's got all the little bits and bobs on there. That's a five grand extra. As you can probably see, it's a double floor. At the front, you've got the automatic pack. That essentially gives you the 7G Mercedes-Benz automatic upgrade. So obviously it's the automatic. This one is on the higher spec 170 brake as well. That's another 2000 pounds upgrade. And it gives you everything that you really need. You've got your cruise control. It's actually adaptive cruise control now. Also gives you a nice little leather steering wheel. 
You don't get a leather steering wheel normally. That's insane on something of this price. A couple more grand and you get a nice leather steering wheel. You want to spend another four and a half grand? You can do it with the winter pack. The winter pack basically keeps you warm. You've got heated seats here. You've got heated cab floor. There's actually two little pipes here. And as you can see from there, it's heated by the Aldi system. It also gives you the full underfloor heating as well. Basically, for four and a half grand, you're toasty in the Alps. It does have habitation air conditioning as well. So if it does get a bit too warm on those particularly sunny days, that will work. Now it also has the ambient pack, ambient pack, which basically means you get them scatter cushions at the back. Like I say, this particular Burstner Elegance i920G is completely specced up. I love the table, absolutely love it. Folds neatly out of the way as well. Everything just feels nice and crisp. The stitching is beautiful, absolutely beautiful on it. The surround sound speakers, I know it feels a bit surround soundy, but you've got one there, you've got one here. You've also got a weird thing there that I'm not sure if, oh. You can move your speakers wherever you want to move them to on these little things there. How cool is that? So there's several speakers and there's even a little compartment at the back to charge them in. Absolutely wonderful. This is a four berth, four belt. You will have the drop down bed above the cab. That is electric, of course, it's going to be electric at this price. That huge island bed at the back, which I'll go and show you in a bit. But the seats are nicely tucked away. Under there, there's one on the other side as well. The kitchen is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If I had one little gripe, is that you haven't quite got enough workspace, but is the tiniest of tiniest of gripes, trust me. Got a three ring burner there. The most beautiful sink I've ever seen. Absolutely stunning. Nice little cupboards with electric in there. Look at those handles. Look at them. So all the space is absolutely beautifully thought out, presented, and well done. You've got a spice rack this side. And when you don't want a spice rack that side, you've got a wine rack this side. You've got a fancy fridge as well. It's a 177 litre fridge. So again, a good big fridge space. And it'll open that way. And as we do like these ones, they open that way as well. And the freezer opens that way. The freezer opens that way as well. The fridge and the freezer swing both ways. What a shower this is. You've got a little thing that sort of holds it up there and they come in, but just, I'll get out of the way and have a look at the beauty of that shower. Absolutely stunning. I think this sort of marble feature it runs all the way through the motorhome and it's just beautiful. There is your Thetford Idiot's toilet. Um, does all the things that I said earlier in the video. But I just love the fact that it's now beginning to be that little bit more sustainable. Yeah, granted you're driving a five ton motorhome with diesel power all the way around Europe, but if you can save some, why not save some? The door closes off, so if you want to nicely transverse between the lounge and the bedroom area, then you can do. You also have another door that goes right here. Look at the size of this island bed. It is absolutely monstrous. You're nice and high up. You're right at window level, so if you've got the scenic views, it's beautiful. You've got more of these things that do have the lights as well. And in fact, you've even got uh, ah, a little charging point for them in there. 
Electric drop down bed, you have got the safety catches either side. Hit that button, you will need to obviously drop down the seating at the front. But we'll just go that far, you can put more speakers up here. The speaker system is absolutely insane, to be honest with you. It's, and again, it's a lovely place to be. You've got full cab blinds, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about anything. In fact, the only thing you really have to worry about is the price tag. Without any of the extras, this is starting now at £152,000. With all of the extras, you're going north of 170. That is a lot of money. Ha, 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 ha. This has been my favorite most home to date, bar none. And I love the mobile vetters, which is probably why I love this. This is a mobile vetter pimp top. Absolutely beautiful motorhome. Beautifully put together, beautifully crafted, beautifully designed. The tech in here just tweaks it that little bit extra for me than anything else that we've bought. But enough about what I think about it. Let me know what you think. My name's Pete. This is We Buy a Motor Caravan. Like, subscribe, tell me what you think, what you really, really think. And if you want a disco, you can do it with the lights.